fancy intro music. Yeah! Woo! Hey, you! Welcome back to this channel where I am yelling into the microphone. I'm so sorry, headphone users. If you're bleeding right now, just know it's out of love because today we're going to be talking about Bad Cruise again. That, that's my base. The, I didn't put a crew up yet how about this how about i put up a bad crew right now whoa the power of editing in the internet it's so cool don't you wish you could be a content creator as well kids well you can for anyway bad joke i was going to go into aside today we're going to talk about bad crew videos but what i wanted to do is instead of taking like five or six bad crews and just saying hey this sucks i want to take some extra time today to go into individual crews and explain why we don't really want to do this so this is going to be a combination of a bad crew video and an officer video because we want to focus on topics and the main topic i'm hitting on today is criticals we talked about this before but i feel people still aren't understanding exactly how this works in the game so i want to take some time to go over it okay so that's what we're going to do today this right there by the way the bad crew is on the right side now real quick because this is on the screen i have had a lot of people ask about sarcophagus crewing the truth is i hate the sarcophagus it's a piece of junk and with this screenshot of it killing a kelvin aside i'm not a big fan of it however this is a good generic crew for a sarcophagus I will at some point make a video for that ship, so for those of you asking, don't worry, it is coming. There's just been a lot of things that have been on the plate first. Remember, these bad crew videos are supposed to come out at the start of each month. It's the 22nd, so there's just so much going on with the duality arc, I've had to push some content to the back. But don't worry, we will be getting into it. But let's talk about this Kelvin and why it's simply not loaded out correctly, starting with the officers. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this a little bit smaller on screen. Bam! Look at the power of the internet. Love it. Love the power of the internet. It makes me feel just like I'm really cool. Con. So Savage Tenacity is the main ability that we're looking at here for this crew, which is every time the ship is hit by a ship or defense platform, increases the critical hit chance by 4%. So simply giving you a greater chance to hit a critical. We'll talk about why that's important in a moment. Now let's look at his counterpart, which is Honor Guard Wharf right down here. Now this is a newer card and is a PvP only card. Rage of Kittimer. For the first eight rounds of combat against other players, Honor Guard Wharf increases critical hit chance of the ship by 45%. A lot more than Khan. That's nine times what a Max Khan will give you. Max Khan is 5%, mine's tier four, so it's 4%. I'm assuming the owner of the Kelvin has a maxed out Khan. So 45% is quite a bit. Now, also they had Picard here, which does make this loadout very curious and honestly to that bad level because Picard engage is increasing critical damage against hostiles and armada. I think they think that hostiles includes players, but it doesn't. This is actually just for reds and for those armada targets and such, not for PvP. So no matter what, this is not a good loadout. But let's talk about the critical aspect because essentially we have two officers doing the exact same thing. And here's why that is a drawback for you as a crew. Because you can only do so much. Now, we're talking about a Kelvin, but I'm going to bring up an Enterprise just to show you this detail right here. See the critical hit chance and the critical damage? That's what you're trying to do with criticals. All criticals are is a multiplier on top of your damage. And what we're going to do is bring out a handy-dandy calculator right now. Bam. To show you what we're talking about. So, we're going to play Kelvin, okay? Ignore the Enterprise in the background. It's not real. Go away, Enterprise. You're not real. Now we're talking about this Kelvin over here. So let's just throw out a number. It doesn't have to be accurate. Well, let's just say that Kelvin does 500,000 damage. This is the damage that it creates. No critical, just regular punch. A perfectly even 500,000. Beautiful, right? So with Honor Guard, Wharf, and Khan, the whole goal is to get you with that critical hitting. And what a critical does is this. Now you see my Enterprise is 209%. The Kelvin and all the other ships will vary based on research and where you're at in the game. We're going to use my 209% because I don't have the Kelvin's exact pulled up. But I just want to show you how it works. So 500,000 is the damage the ship creates. All the research, all the officer bonuses, all the building bonuses, that's the damage. Bam. Done. Now, after that, if you hit a critical, you're going to multiply it by your critical percent damage. So my critical damage booster is 209%. So quick math, 2.09, bam. 209% is 2.09. Now that shot would be 1,045,000, which is great. 
we love more damage. But let me tell you how it could be better just by replacing one of those officers. Because the whole point of Honor Guard Wharf is for you to not need Khan anymore. It's so that you don't have to use Khan in a loadout because Honor Guard Wharf is going to give you more bang for your buck early on. Most PvP fights are not going 10 or 15 rounds. They're quick. So being able to hit hard and fast is what you're going for with that type of critical build with Honor Guard Wharf. So what you want is something to pair with him to make him stronger, to make criticals stronger. So let's just use a basic officer like Curla. Curla, for example... We're going to put our 500,000 here. Curla can do a 25% boost, not even maxed out. A 25% boost to critical damage on kinetic weapons. So let's say that Curla was here. Curla is actually on the sarcophagus right there on the left. So let's say that Curla is now on that Kelvin. So now when we do our multiplier, we'd be doing 2.9 plus 25 is 34. So now it'll be 2.34. Now we just did 1.17. We did over 100,000 more damage simply by adding Curla to the mix. Khan and Honor Guard Wharf together are not going to make any extra critical happen. You can't like double critical. So if you're going to run a critical officer, you need to have a corresponding officer that's going to then make criticals even deadlier. And this is why we love Hull Breach. Let me show you a quick example of Hull Breach. So we're doing 500,000. And then... You get the two, but then you also got that 1.5 multiplier. So 3.59, whoop. That got bigger. That's what she said. So having just simply a Lorca or a Gorkon could be better for this ship in the long run instead of running double con. Now the Picard thing, we got to get Picard out of here anyway. Picard. We gotta get Picard out of here anyway, because he's not doing anything. But let's switch over to another one, because now we got another use of Khan, this time with a speed run. It's not necessarily the worst loadout, but you can see why the loadout on the left side destroys it, because it's a targeted PvP build versus a speed run that's trying to also use some critical. But this is actually not a bad loadout, it's just simply you came up against the wrong ship at the wrong time. This Burrell is loaded out with Honor Guard Wharf. 5 of 10, or 5 of 11 now, because we changed it up, and then Kang. Kang giving you that bonus versus accuracy. Now, accuracy is going to dump the mitigation of that D4. And what we mean by that is, if we go to a battle log real quick, and uh, what I'll do is we'll go ahead and just, you know, we won't even, whoop, we'll just look at that happen. So let's pick up this one. This is uh, Jay hitting my Stella with their Stella. But mitigation, not really worried about it. They're doing Pike Morochi, and I'm doing Picard Beverly Chip. So we'll go to the battle log. Mitigation is this right here. See, mitigation, that. That's how much it's stopping. So in this particular case, I am mitigating, we're going to do a quick little math, 37874 divided by 62690. I'm mitigating 60.4%. The whole point of Kang is when you're fighting D4s, like in a Burrell, is you're going to lower that mitigation. You want to get their mitigation to the bottom. Because mitigation simply means all that damage you created doesn't matter. It's off the table now, and we want it back on the table. We want to make sure that what we're doing is effective. So here you're sacrificing a full-on crew to run basically just a speed run there and then have the Burrell come and take you down. But you're trying to make up for that, and I understand the logic. So let's back out and let's talk about the officers real quick. Nope, don't want to select all. I want to talk about, I want to go to officers. Thank you, button, for clicking where I told you to click. So we're going to scroll, 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 and they are, I've passed them. Oh my goodness, there's too many officers. So, Pam, look at Pam, getting up to speed, increases the impulse speed of the ship by 20% as a captain. Then you also have the synergy because we're running, who, who are we running, who are we running? Um, gosh, I got a, sorry, I'm looking. Curon! That's not who I thought that was. Okay, so this is just not good. No. Mm -mm. Okay, I see what you're trying to... Okay. Let's talk about that instead. So, we're not going for synergy at all. We went with Curon. Let's talk about Curon. I don't necessarily mind Curon. I kind of do mind Curon. In this particular instance. Where is Kiron? I can't ever... There he is. I don't have him. After destroying a ship, Kiron increases the impulse speed by 25% until the ship's next battle or its return to station. 
more speed, but only speed after you win. It would definitely be more advantageous to just go ahead and run synergy. So that if you're going for speed, get the speed at all times, not just when you hit a, a, a fight anyway. Con works here, but the idea of the speed run is going to get negated by a real PvP crew, and that's exactly what happens with this Pharrell. Because of how Honor Guard Warp works, you're getting the critical, so more damage. Then you're lowering your opponent's mitigation and raising your mitigation with 5 of 11. So the Burrell is perfectly loaded out to go against what is a much, much stronger D4. And that's what we look for in a lot of these matches. This is what we want to see. We want to see a very well loaded out PvP taking on a halfway loaded PvP that's trying to do two things at once. That, Burrell, uh, that D4 is trying to run speed, 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 which is fine because it can outrun the Burrell. But if that Burrell catches it, it's going to win with proper crew loadouts. And this is how you can take advantage of criticals. That, Bur that Burrell is probably not expecting to win for a lot of people against a ship 3.2 million times stronger. But a max Burrell taking out a maxed D4 because of crews is a great example of why understanding the mechanics of the game and understanding how criticals work is how you can have success. This player obviously understands how mitigation works and how criticals work. And this player was just throwing stuff on their D4. And now we know. And now we've been edified. And now the education has come from me to you. Are we happy? Also, new rule. Spock does not go on G4 ships. He cannot regenerate enough shields to matter for you. Even if you stack Spock to the absolute max, he's regenerating, what, 250, 300,000 per. Once a round. You've got 5 million in shields. Don't run Spock on a G4 or higher ship. Stop it. Stop it. Maybe a baby ISS jelly. But if you're in the 40s and the 50s, you don't need Spock anymore. Use him for away teams. And that's today's episode and lesson, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I need you to smash that like button. It looks like a big old thumb. I need you to leave a comment if you have questions down in the comment section below. And if you want to know more about how criticals work and game math, well, I'm your guy. Come to me. I'd be happy to help you out. Live long and prosper. Stay safe with the Space Cowboys. We'll catch you on the next video. Deuces. That's me. I'm Audi. And, uh, yeah, I'm gone. Bye. An even better outro than the intro. For the empire and glory to your house.